we knew that by uh, the, the the middle of the first decade, uh, around 2005, that uh, we, we were making progress on batteries for mobile applications, but uh, there was nothing that was uh, making headway in the area of stationary storage. And so um, I had been working for 30 years on uh, heavy electrometallurgy. And uh, actually a colleague of mine came to me and he said, you know, you've been doing all this work on aluminum, on magnesium. And have you learned anything from that that might be relevant to, to storage? And so that got me thinking. And then I became really excited about the prospect of, of designing a battery that doesn't look like a, like a, a cylinder, but rather that looks more like a smelter. And that's how the thing got started. The smallest that we can get to, because these things operate at elevated temperatures, so we have to uh, have them large enough that they'll generate enough heat to, to stay molten. W when they get below a certain size, they, they lose heat through the outside uh, faster than they can generate it on the inside. And that size is roughly you know about, about uh, a cubic meter. And so that would give us probably on the order of about uh, 10 kilowatt hours. So, but but going in the other direction, there are no limits. If if you want two megawatt hours, it's going to look like the the uh, the trailer on a what you call a articulated the lorry or something, right? Um, if if you want four megawatt hours, so it's going to be like two two trailers. No problem. I, I admire Tesla for for his uh, boldness and. Uh, he did things that actually some people couldn't imagine uh, was, were even obeying the laws of physics, but clearly he was obeying the laws of physics. Uh, and, and he really had this idea of trying to distribute electricity not by conductors, by cables, but, but by radiation. And uh, it was a really uh, noble uh, effort. Um, but uh, it, 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 it really died with him. Um, so the, the, the thing that I take away from uh, the Tesla story is to, to be bold and uh, don't, don't, let, don't let convention uh, restrict your actions. Well, I think that uh, it's, it's very clear that uh, our, our population is going to increase and uh, the demand for electricity will increase. And uh, we want to do this, we want to meet that demand in a way that doesn't contribute more in terms of uh, um, greenhouse gas emissions. So if, if you add more uh, electricity users and take away generation by burning of coal, gas, diesel, there's a gigantic gap there that needs to be filled, and it needs to be filled by a sustainable means, whether it's hydroelectric, um, solar, wind. Um, nuclear is a, is, a, is a contentious issue. In some countries, people say nuclear is fine. In other countries, they, 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 even though nuclear doesn't emit, they, the people are concerned about uh, the, the uh, final disposal of the spent fuel. Uh, but anyways, taking out all of the carbon uh, combustion is going to mean that we're going to have to add some fantastic amount of new generation capacity. So to my mind, the uh, renewables plus storage is the path forward.